All right. Well, it looks like we are are live at Dad Sews. How's everybody doing? I'm gonna give everybody a couple minutes to get in here. You know how it goes with the live videos. It takes a minute for people to uh, to show up, but the video is showing. I'm very excited to have everybody. If you've noticed, we have some nice new Primo graphics. Our studio manager, Will, is in the Dad Sews studio. I'm super excited about that, and I am just happy to be talking with you guys again tonight. Once you guys pop in the room, We'll go ahead and start start chatting there. I know we're working now. We're good to go. And uh, I just want to say we've got some awesome stuff happening here at Dad Sews. First of all, look at the subscriber count. Could I stutter that more? Subscriber count. We're at 2772. When that number reaches 3,000, we're going to be giving away another Juki sewing machine. And if you don't believe that I give away sewing machines, you gotta check out my videos because I put the winner right there on YouTube. It's pretty awesome. So, are you guys uh, are you guys uh, there? I don't see any chatting. It does say there are 17, 18 people here. So that is good. Justin nice. and Sarah got firsties. Oh, Justin got first. Hey, how's it going, Justin? And Sarah. Justin and Sarah Vlogs is an awesome channel on YouTube. I've mentioned them before on a live video, but they run an awesome vlog. Justin is Canadian, and he has a family up in the Great White North, and he's a Patriots fan. And I'm not going to tell you who my affiliation is because I don't want people sending me hate mail, but I love Justin's football team. <laughs> so there you go. All right, well, I don't see the chat working, but that is fine. We've got our manager here. He is gonna help me uh, navigate through some of the chatting. All right, that's, I'm excited, guys. We've got some great new stuff. Did you see the romper video? Did you see the romper video? Oh, there's my chat. I, uh, I'm super excited because I was just contacted by the people, I was con trying to contact her back. Um, but the people from ABC's The Chew have asked if they can show my rubber video tomorrow on The Chew. So I would really appreciate y'all tuning in and letting me know if you see Dad sews on The Chew tomorrow. I just imagine myself sewing a romper for Mario Batali. But it's just Mario Batali in an orange romper to go with his orange Crocs. But then he would look like he's from Orange is or just the new black. I think that would be funny. I mean, he does have a ponytail. Maybe he could go on the cell block with them. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just making myself giggle thinking about Mario Batali in an orange jumper with his orange Crocs. Goodness gracious. So, like I said, check out the chew tomorrow. That's going to be funny. All right. Megan Smith, as always, is here. Awesome. Heather Wolf. Hello! And uh, everybody says, yay, Canada, especially Pamela. All right, man, I'm so excited. Everything is working good. Hey, I want to make sure, like I said, you guys subscribe. We've even got fancy video to show you about subscribing. Make sure you click subscribe if you're just here watching. Like I said, when that hits 3,000, and you'll be able to see the number go up. Hopefully it doesn't go down while we're having a live episode. That would be the worst, I guess. Justin and I have talked about that. That would stink. But anyway, let's get down to it. Everything is working. I'm happy. We've got the best fans. I love you guys. Thank you so much for sharing the romper video again tomorrow on the Chew. Hopefully, I've got to get that email back to her, but that's going to be awesome. So today we're talking about what music do you guys listen to while you sew? I'd love to know your top five. I've got my top five. We're going to be talking about that. Right before we start, though, RIP to Adam West. I had to pull out my Batman guy with the hat. I said, Adam West passed away this week. How can I not mention that in a live video? I don't care if it's about sewing or music. Adam West, that's like RIP, man. Oh, he had some great stories about the 60s. I mean, don't read his book if you, uh, if you don't like hearing some uh, very, very, mm, I don't want to say raunchy, but he has some stories. He used to party in the Batman costume. That's all I got to say. So, honorary mention for music because of Adam West. See how I tied in? 
the Batwatusi or the Batusi. Do you know the Batusi that he did in the Batman movie? It's excellent. You know, they did it this way. I think it was a little different than the Pulp Fiction version, but the Batusi is our honorary mention for music today. All right, somebody give me some of your favorite music that you like to listen to while you sew. I know some people like Netflix <laughs> nowadays while they sew. So House of Cards, it doesn't work. Orange is the New Black. Even though we want to dress up Mario Vitale, that doesn't count. What is your first th piece of music that is your, um, your favorite to listen to? Somebody says, oh, Megan says she's all about the 80s and 90s. All right, well, here is my first one. And man, I guess it's all tied together. This kind of great episode, we mentioned Adam West. My first number one is Chris Cornell. Chris Cornell, now this is not when he was with Soundgarden. It's not when he was with all the other super groups that he was in. Chris Cornell had a self-released um, uh, solo album, and it was called Euphoria Morning. Okay, Euphoria Morning. And it was spelled M-O-R-N-I-N-G because they made him do that. He was very angry about it. He re-released it later years the way he wanted it. He wanted it to be Euphoria Morning, like M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G. Kind of prophetic. I know, it's kind of prophetic. Uh, but that is a great album. If you want to hear one of the best rock and roll voices you will ever hear, especially when you're really going full speed on your Juki machine, Get Chris Cornell, Euphoria Morning. Now, if you go to dadtoast.com slash Cornell, it's going to take you right to that album. You can purchase that. It's, it's wonderful, people. Get the MP3s or get the CD. Heck, get it used for all I care. But listen to this music. It's magical. I once heard Chris Cornell's voice described as liquid hot gravel. <laughs> There's no better explanation than that. Would you say, Will? No better. Oh, I saw him live uh, just a couple months ago. It was beautiful. There you go. He saw him live a few months ago. So sad. All right, somebody said Pentatonix. Okay, I love Pentatonix. My kids love Pentatonix. That Daft Punk video has like a billion views or whatever. My family is like 1.5 million of those views. I'm, I'm telling you, we are a lot of those. I like that somebody said Oompa Loompa when we were talking about Mario Batali and Orange. That would be so awesome. All right, uh, somebody said Justin Timberlake. Nothing wrong with little JT. Justin Derulo. Check out Pentatonix doing Justin Derulo. Actually, I think he's there with them. Somebody said Journey. That's awesome. Country music. I like, I like all kinds of music. You're going to see a little bit of that here. But obviously, I have many albums that I love. So, like I said, number one, if you go to dadsos.com, it'll even pop up on your screen probably. Dadsos.com slash Cornell, and you can... That's going to take you to Euphoria Morning. All right, so my number two pick. So give me some more. Somebody said Michael Jackson. Good pick, Megan. My number two pick is Dave Navarro. Now, do you know who Dave Navarro is? What group did Dave Navarro sing for, Will, or play for? He played guitar for Jane's Addiction, and he did an album. Jane's Addiction. Cover. Now, if you're not into hard rock, um, you might not know Dave Navarro. But Dave Navarro put out another solo album, and it was beautiful and wonderful. And he was also married to Carmen Electra, if that gets you going. So, it's also beautiful and wonderful. Dave Navarro, uh, the album is Trust No One. So dadsos.com slash Navarro. you got to check it out. It's called Trust No One. I'm trying to turn you on to some new music. It's a lot more mellow than you think it is. There's some sad song. There's some melancholy song. Him and Chris Cornell kind of go together. When I listen to one... I listen to the other. These are the two albums I play when I'm in a sad mood. Or maybe I've had to pop a stitch on something I've sewn wrong three or four times. Perfect mix, Cornell and Navarro. All right, so here's my number three. Uh, who else? Oh, somebody said old school hip hop. Oh, that's awesome, that's a good one. I don't know how to pronounce your name, Giome. You said old school hip hop. Justin said ska music. Five Iron Frenzy. All right, good job. Um, Mofro Station on Pandora. Okay. 90s Grunge, Heather Wolf. I agree with you there. That's got Cornell and Navarro written all over it. Somebody said Phil Collins. Lisa Bird's listening to Collins. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Just not that Lion King song. No, wait, that's not him. He didn't do Lion King. That was, uh, that was, <laughs> that wasn't Phil yeah, Collins, was it? in my heart. 
Oh, he did You'll Be Here in My Heart. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> okay, here's my number three. Greatest voice of all time. Greatest drummer of all time, which is really good to listen to drumming. You're not going to believe me when I say this is the greatest drummer of all time, but it's true. It's Karen Carpenter of the Carpenters. Boom. Drop the drumsticks. Karen Carpenter of the Carpenters. I love listening to that. And if you go to dadsos.com slash carpenters, it takes you to their singles. The best of their singles. That's the album to get. It's the one that's going to knock your socks off. Turn your kids on to the Carpenters people. She was amazing. Go to YouTube and look up Karen Carpenter on drums. And they're going to show a video where she plays all these drums at once. It was great. And it has nothing to do with the fact that her arms were as small as drumsticks. That was horrible to say. Why did I say that? I love her. Gone too soon. All right. So <laughs> check out the Carpenter singles. There is not a Carpenter song that I don't like. All right. So I went from Chris Cornell to Dave Navarro, <laughs> the tattooed crew of the 90s, to the Carpenters. All right. So dadsos.com slash Carpenters. All right. So who else have you picked? Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. Phil Collins did Tarzan. He was wrong. I, I, I thought I was wrong when I said Lion King. All right. Elton John did Lion King. Of course. I just couldn't think of Sir Elton. I was already thinking about poor Karen Carpenter. You know, we've already got two people that died too early on this list. What do you think about that, Will? Two oh, people gone too soon. There was a couple mentions for Prince earlier Prince, as well. Prince. That was, oh, now we got a trifecta. All right. This is my number four. And again, this is paired with Karen Carpenter. I'm about to turn you all on to some new music right now. Okay? She's British. She's lovely. And she sounds like Karen Carpenter, but she does her own thing. She's done live at Daryl's house with Daryl from Hall & Oates. Her name is one word, and it's Rumor. So dadsos.com slash Rumor, R-U-M-E-R. -E and that's going to take you to her album, Seasons of My Soul. This is beautiful music. Now, some of it's a little melancholy, but she's got some upbeat stuff, too. She's got some upbeat stuff. She's got soul. She is a, uh, she's a British lady with soul, but she has a beautiful voice, and she sounds a lot like Karen. A lot of people refer to her as like the new Karen Carpenter, even though they're kind of the opposite of one spectrum. But she goes on tour with Burt Bacharach a lot, and uh, Burt Bacharach's a genius. He wrote some songs that the Carpenter sang. He's wrote songs that you know and love. So you got to check out Rumor, all right? Somebody said, somebody said Disturbed. That's at the different end of the spectrum. That's true. Somebody said Star Set. Um, Just saw them in concert too. Right? All right, Fleetwood Mac. Oh, yeah, that's a classic. All right. Nobody has said the Eagles, right? Yes. Somebody did? Because the dude says, come on, man, don't play the Eagles. I hate the Eagles. If you love the Eagles, you got to check out their two-part documentary that they did for HBO. You will realize that they're horrible people, but it is the best music documentary you will ever watch in your life. Hands down. All right. So we had our honorable mention of Adam West and the Batusi. Then we jumped to Chris Cornell. Then we went to Dave Navarro. Then we went to the Carpenters. Then we went to Rumor. Now I'm on to my last one. But before I give it away, I'm going to give you something. I'm going to give away some iTunes or Amazon gift cards. All right. So I, I, I got to go with, um, what was it? G-O-M-E, I, I don't know how to say your name because your screen name's weird, but it's spelled G-E-O-A-M-E. -E. You have been answering like crazy. I want to give you a music gift card. So what you need to do is message me at dadsos on the contact form or go to facebook.com slash dadsos and you can message me there. I need to get your full email address so that I can send you a digital iTunes or Amazon gift card. And you tell me which one you want. If you prefer Amazon, you get Amazon. If you prefer iTunes, that's what you'll get. So G U A M E. Okay. Um, I'm also going to give one to Felicia Burchell. I'm picking these somewhat randomly, but I like your answers too. I like that she likes country, 70s, 50s. I love 50s and lots of different stuff. So Felicia Burchell, again, go to facebook.com slash dadsos, message me there, or message me at dadsos.com. All right, and uh, why don't we do one more for uh, Pamela Housted, who said Steve Aoki. I don't really know any of his stuff, 
Isn't he like a party music guy, DJ guy? I'm giving that to you just because you're too hip for the room. You know, <laughs> All right, that's three. I'm going to give away two more. Stick with me. My last one. I'm turning you on to new music with this, okay? This is the first concert my kids ever went to. They were four and six at the time. It was in a brew house. It was in, um, let's see, Annapolis, Maryland. It was a day show. It was a guy and his guitar. That was it. A guy and his guitar, and they loved it. I'd, I guess you would call him an indie musician, but he's more of a folk musician. But he has got tons of albums that you can get. You can get them for a good price on Amazon. His name is Ari Hest. So dadsos.com slash Hest. Okay? And his album is, well, he's got a ton of them. But my favorite album is 12 Mondays. Now, you've probably heard his music on car commercials have licensed his music. And I think I heard his um, music on a uh, insurance commercial recently and I tweeted at him. I'm like, is that you, Ari Hest? He's like, yes, that's me. And I'm like, I'm so happy for you because he is phenomenal. He connects with fans. He really talks to you. He's not just signing your CD and throwing you out the door. If you ever want to know what's wrong with the music industry, Ari Hest is the best example. The guy's phenomenal. His lyrics are moving. He can write all kinds of music. He does duets. He works with some of the biggest stars out there. You just haven't known his name. If you've known his name, let me know you've heard of him. But Ari Hest. So dadsos.com slash Hest. All right? All right. I want to mention before I give away two more gift cards. That's right. Stick around. We got to thank Fabricut. They sponsor all these videos. Now, you'd say, why does Fabricut sponsor in this video? Well, because I love talking about them. And I love talking about this beautiful Juki machine. And because when that number hits 3,000, it's at 2772. When you click subscribe and tell your friends to click subscribe, that goes to 3,000 and we are giving away another Juki sewing machine. And that comes from my sponsors, Fabricut.com. They are awesome. They're having a huge, huge sale this July, their early bird sale. Check it out at Fabricut.com. And you can get the lowest price on a Juki machine by going to dadsews.fabricut.com. I mean the lowest price you can get this machine. It's lovely. It does everything. The pedal, if you click it one way, it can cut your thread or it can backstitch for you. It does five different things, whatever you tell it to. It's kind of like the computer on Star Trek. It just doesn't make Earl Grey tea hot. All right, so I'm gonna give away two more gift cards to some people that have been commenting. One, I love your name. I don't think it's your real name, but you need to message me with your real email address at facebook.com slash dadsos or dadsos.com. But winter justice. Winter justice. It's summertime now, so I guess you don't have that much power, winter justice. But winter justice, you have one of gift cards. You're going to need to tell me whether you want iTunes or Amazon, okay? And message me at facebook.com slash dadsos. And I'm just picking a, a random guy here. I just gave it a scroll. And Nicole with two L's, Nicole M., Oh, you're the one that said pentatonics. Nicole M., you have also won a gift card. So you can maybe buy some of this awesome music that I gave you. Chris Cornell, Dave Navarro, Carpenters, Rumor, Ari Hess. Or maybe you buy the Batusi. Maybe you go and use it for a movie. That's fine. You can buy movies on iTunes and Amazon, but you can watch something while you sew. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Don't forget about my sponsor, Fabricut. And during our episodes, we spin the big wheel of fabric, and we love to give away fabric. I just uploaded a picture on Facebook today of somebody that put up a picture of their Facebook or their uh, fabric that they won. Uh, they got a piece of fabric. Their kid was fighting to get the fabric cut sticker from her. They get a SoFail repeat message from me. It's great. So we spin the wheel during our episodes. Thanks for checking out the romper video. I know it's only about a thousand views on YouTube, but it got 1.6 million views on Facebook. And uh, apparently it might be on the chew tomorrow on ABC. So that is awesome. I appreciate you guys so much. Be sure again, click subscribe, uh, check out our Facebook page, contact me if you have won. And I'm just so happy to talk with you guys always. Um, to the person that said Ryan Adams and Damian Escobar, boom. 
I got you. Somebody said Creed. Oh, Winter Justice said Creed. Oh, I might have to take away your win. That, that's I'm sorry. Her name, by the way. Oh, that's her real name? Yeah, that's her real name. Winter Ju That's not your real name. Good for you. Good for your mom. That's awesome. But you did say Creed, and I might have to take it away from you. Um, <laughs> I just want to check out. So before I sign off, I just want to see what people said. Lisa Bird said, I love Grace Vander Vanderwall. Oh, last year's winner on AGT. I don't know her. Was she a little kid? I'm not sure. And uh, Priscilla said, Mickey Mouse Playhouse. I'm sorry. Don't sew with your children in the room. They're horrible. They're horrible. Put them to bed. Have a glass of wine if that's what you're into. All right. Thanks again, guys. Don't forget to check out uh, facebook.com slash dadsos. Please share this video or one of my other videos with your friends. I really appreciate it. And I'll be signing off. All right.